Hey guys, W0KNI here today. I want to show you how to use your Rig Expert SWR to air feature. It's a really cool feature, and if you're a one man show and you want to get an antenna tuned up quickly, I think you're going to find this feature very valuable. So stay tuned, and I'll walk you through how to use this feature. We're going to use a bunch of cool uh, radio nerd things today. We're going to use a 49 to 1 ballon uh, that I made last year. We're also going to use a common mode choke, a 1 to 1 choke um, that'll be in line with that. I'm going to use all the equipment that I'd use out in the field. We're also, of course, going to use the Rig Expert Zoom 55 so we can use the SW to air feature. So to get things set up, I'm going to measure out a half wavelength of 16 gauge lamp wire that I picked up at Home Depot. You've seen me use this type of wire before. I'm going to use my Yesu FT3DR handheld so we can listen to the signal coming from the rig expert. I'm cutting about uh, 35 feet of lamp wire and I'm going to launch that up in a tree. It'll probably be at an angle of less than 45 degrees, probably more like 35 degrees. And I'll be at the, the uh, lift point, bring it up and down the tree so that I can uh, show you what it's like just to stay in one position and listen to the rig expert send out its signal. Now, when you set up your rig expert, there's a couple of steps you have to take to get it going. First off, you need to be in the SWR meter mode, the only section that this will work on. Next, dial in the frequency that you want to analyze. In my case, I'm going to be at 14.285. That's where I want the sweet spot to be. And then, very important, you need to select frequency on your VHF handset that you want the rig expert to transmit on. So in my case, I'm going to use 144.050. The way you access that feature is before you enable the actual analysis. Hit function 3. Function 3, also known as the frequency change or frequency range, function 3 will take you to the VHF configuration. That's only available if you're in the SWR meters. Once you set that, then go back to your uh, function uh, check or function OK. Now, now, if you were to just press OK, it's just going to scan normally without enabling the SWR to air. But what we're going to do is press the function OK instead of just the OK button. So hit function OK, and that'll start the transmit of the SWR to air. So to get this started, I'm going to connect up the 49 to 1 ballon, the common mo choke, and at the end of that another short jumper and connect all three items with short jumpers. I'm gonna start up the rig expert and launch the SWR to air feature. Got my handheld and I'm gonna walk to the end of the wire, end of our antenna wire, and bring it up and down the tree until we get it tuned up. Okay, so now we're in the twos. We're getting closer. Okay, we're definitely at two. Two and a one. So we're almost under two. Now let's start folding back. There we go. That's definitely below 1.5. <laughs> okay, I, okay. So I cheated a little bit and took a look, and we're at 1.4, and the best we're gonna get is probably a 1.3 with a, a dB loss, uh, return loss of um, negative 18. So I'm going to um, fold it back on itself just a little bit more. Actually, I think I'll 
cut off a bunch of that and uh, see if we can't get it right on there at 14.285, which is where I like to play. Okay, so you can hear it, see it. That's about a 1.3. And the closer you get to 1.1, the quicker the tone is going to be. Um, dot, 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 dot. See, there's a little bit of a, a long tone, short. That'll get quicker. Da, 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 da. But today, this is about 1.32, and this is as close as we're going to get today. Okay, so that's how you use the SWR to air feature with the Rig Expert Zoom 55. Hope you enjoyed this, and hope to hear you out on the radio. W0KNI Clear.